All right, hey everyone, and thanks for joining me for my introduction video for this channel. I've gone by Sill or Sillshell predominantly in online games since EverQuest in early 2000 when a friend of mine, my eldest kid's godfather actually, got me into the game while my wife was pregnant with our eldest kid. I played as a casual player, dabbling with the occasional dragon or BS raids until Planes of Power, where I earned a spot in one of the top guilds on my server. We pretty much bounced from first to third place for guild raiding, uh, depending on the content. The politicking in the endgame raid scene wasn't for me. I missed the friendliness and the camaraderie of the casual guilds, the family guilds. I always looked for ways for the average player to be competitive and able to hold their own, or at least close to it, with the high-end raid geared players. Uh, from maximizing the vendor-built gear from Lost Dungeons of Norath and Dragons of Norath, to the almost raid level gear from the Ark Stone zone in the Prophecy of Row expansion. I left EverQuest mostly after that expansion and moved on to many, many, many other games over the years. I was in one of the first guilds to clear Ancient Port Warehouse in Vanguard. I did my part in end game content on Star Wars The Old Republic and Rift, but I've always ended up going back to the hardcore casual mindset. The way MMOs have gone for the past half a decade have left me pretty unhappy with the genre other than having high hopes for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, but the dev team's choices once McQuaid passed away have killed any interest or any faith at all I've had in that game. Uh, discovering New World was a breath of fresh air. I feel a fire lit that I haven't since the early days of EQ. A drive to find a guild looking to explore the game world and not be in the lemming race to end game, where everyone's going to rage quit a month after the game launches complaining there's no content because they blew through everything lightning quick or boasting that they won the game after barely seeing any of the content because they've capped out their level and got as high into the gear score grind as they could stomach before they quit. I formed Necrophim, a guild dedicated to its members, everyone progressing at their own pace and doing their own thing, but having a community to draw on from uh, when they need to. I'm also doing what I can do and finding the most efficient or fun while being efficient at least ways I can find to progress my own characters. And now I'm here on this channel sharing that info with you, the few people that will find this channel. And for the record, I completely despise the Twitch streamer generation and the mindless hordes of worship zombies that they generate. They cause a content locust mentality in gaming where you burn through as quick as you can and don't actually enjoy the game. Devs are wasting their time and production budgets on fleshing anything out other than a start and finish line for this current generation of gamers, and I'm really hoping New World can pull through and have some longevity after those contest locusts leave for the next shiny afterwards, which will probably be Lost Ark. All right, so I mostly record solo. All my gameplay is pre-recorded and I make clips from the footage. Voiceovers are done after the game is played, and anyone on screen and participating in my footage is in my group and have consented to be shown, or they happen to have wandered through my screen. I don't do the streamer thing where they prattle on pointlessly trying to keep the masses entertained, stopping mid-fight to respec, or show off an item drop while the rest of their group carries them through the content. Not my style, and I hope it's not yours either. All right, so as you watch this, Hit a like, hit subscribe, share my videos with your friends that play New World, and let's hope you um, get some enjoyment out of this gameplay.